I'm Reese Stein, along the way on Gunnison Island on the Great Salt Lake, where pelicans are getting some high-tech bling. It's a pelican roundup on tiny, remote, barren Gunnison Island. Some 40 herdsmen, including wildlife professionals and volunteers, are corralling several hundred juvenile pelicans that have not yet earned their flight wings. It's step one in a short, rapid-fire banding and tagging project. We have several reasons that we banned uh, pelicans. One is to track survival, uh, try to understand how many of these birds actually make it off the island. John Luft of the Division of Wildlife Resources oversees the operation. Another reason is where do they go once they leave here, and if they have a common place that they end up. We're just, are our pelicans uh, doing better than any other pelican colonies uh, uh, around the West? Each bird gets a numbered ID leg band and green and white wing tags specific to Utah pelicans and large enough to be read at a distance. Dozens of volunteers help speed the process. You see these pelicans right before they fledge and they're so big and heavy, but um, we try to figure out where they're going, exactly where they've been, and have their survival rates. So I just think it's really fascinating. The banding operation has to be done quickly while the parent birds are off feeding several miles to the east in the fresh water ponds of the Bear River Bird Refuge. Should they return with people around, there's a chance they would simply abandon the colony. One of the things about pelicans is uh, they are extremely susceptible to disturbance. And so uh, they avoid places where people are. Only a mile long and half a mile wide, Gunnison Island is owned by State Wildlife Resources as a protected rookery. One of the largest white pelican colonies in the world, the island and a one-mile buffer zone is off limits to human intrusion other than this official visit. And this is a brutal place. You've obviously been out here for a little while and it's extremely hot. There is no fresh water on the island and it's extremely inhospitable, but those birds choose this location uh, because it's remote and secure for them. So uh, most of the time, but not this year. This is the worst I've ever seen it as far as pelican numbers. So uh, typically we have five or 6,000 breeding pairs or 10 to 12,000 breeding adults on Gunnison Island. We were down around 3,500 uh, breeding adults this year. They normally ban 500 pelicans each summer, but this year just a few dozen. The low Great Salt Lake has opened the island to invaders from shore. Unfortunately, I believe there's a coyote and we got pictures of one uh, that has accessed the island. And that's why there were so few uh, that we banned at this, uh, this time. The pelicans are under continuous study thanks to 15 Pele cameras, strategically placed by Jamie Butler and the Great Salt Lake Institute at Westminster College. We have cameras that are right on some pelican nests and we can watch nesting behaviors and feeding behaviors and yeah. um, even the silly, you know, a lot of times the pelicans will take selfies in these cameras. Overall, white pelican numbers are up but there is concern about the future of this important breeding site. Uh, but we kind of want to uh, track the population, see how well it's doing. Reese Stein along the way on Gunnison Island in the Great Salt Lake.